Hello friends, welcome to MS Active Webcast. In today's video demonstration, we are going to see how to install and configure WSUS in Windows Server 2012 R2 computer. It is highly recommended to use separate server to configure as a WSUS server, but for demonstration purpose, I will be using my Tumint controller. So first of all, you have to open a saw manager console. On a saw manager console, click on add rules and features. Click on next on before you begin page. Select rule base or feature based installation. Select your WSUS server. In my case, that is SRT hyphen dc01 dot malab.local and that is our two main controller. Click on next. Scroll to the bottom and select Windows Server Update Service. A box will appear requesting additional rules and features are included. Click on add features to include them. Click on next. Click on next. Click on next again. WSUS needs a database to store WSUS configuration and update metadata. The WSUS database can be local or remote SQL server as well. For a local database, it will be used Windows internal database which is limited version of SQL Express that does not have a GUI or management interface. Leave WID database and WSUS service selected and then click on next. Now here we have to specify the path on which we want to store the updates which are downloaded by our WSUS. So let's specify and let's click on next. Click on next. Click on next again and click on install to start the installation. Once WSUS is installed, there is an additional configuration that needs to be performed. So here, as you can see, additional configuration must be performed before continuing. Let's click on launch post installation task. Post installation configuration will take about roughly 5 to 10 minutes to complete. Once it completes, it will say the configuration completed successfully. So now the post deployment configuration is complete. We are ready to launch WSUS console. Let's click on close to close this console and let's click on tools on a saw manager console. Let's select Windows Server Update Service. Okay, click on next on this console. Check or uncheck the box to participate in the Microsoft Update Improvement Program. Then click on next. If this is your first WSUS server, then select synchronize from Microsoft Update. If it is a second WSUS server, such as at a remote location and you want to talk to another WSUS server, you would use the second option, but in our case, this is the first WSUS server and that's why I'm going to select synchronize from Microsoft updates directly. Let's click on next. Now, if you are using a proxy server to access the internet, then enter it here, but we are directly connected with internet and that's why I'm skipping this step. Let's click on next. Now, let's click on start connecting. This will download the information like types of updates available products that can be updated and available languages. So this will take some time to download the information. While it does, let's set up a group policy. So let's uh, click on tools. Let's open group policy management console. Expand your forest. Let's expand our domain. Let's expand our domain name that is mylab.local in my case. Let's click on tools and let's open Active Directory users and computer console. Let's create a one OU for testing purpose. Let's give a name SRT workstation. Let's click on OK. This is our test computer name SRT CLI01. That is our Windows 10 computer. Let's move this computer account to our newly created OU name SRT workstation because we want to create a GPO and link it to our OU just for testing purpose. So this is the uh, OU name SRT-Workstation and this is the our test computer. Let's click on close and let's again come back to our group policy management console. Let's click on refresh. Now here we have our OU name SRT-Workstation. Let's right click on it and select create a GPO on this domain and link it here. Now specify the name WSUS GPO. Let's click on OK to create a new GPO. 
Let's click on newly created GPU. Let's right click on it and select edit. On a group policy management editor console, under computer configuration, expand policies, expand add to templates, expand windows component, and select windows update. In the right pane, find the settings, name, configure, automatic updates. So this is the settings which we are looking for. Double click on it, select enable. In the drop down menu, select a setting that you want in your environment. I advise to first set it to options 3, auto download and notify for install and change it later if you decide. If you want to complete automate the installation of updates, then select number 4, auto download and schedule the install and then select the box install during automatic maintenance. So for this demonstration purpose, I will be selecting third option auto download and notify for installation. Select schedule install day every day at 6 am. Let's click on apply. Let's click on ok. Now any approve updates will be installed during your scheduled time. If you didn't approve any updates, then nothing will happen. Now select specify internet Microsoft update service location settings and double click on it. Now here we have to specify the URL of our WSVS server. In our case that is http colon double slash slrt hyphen dc01 dot mylab dot local colon 8530. Let's copy the URL. And let's specify as a internet statistics server. Let's click on apply. Let's click on OK. So once you specify the settings, let's close group policy management editor console and let's close group policy management console as well. Let's come back to our Windows 10 computer. Let's log in as a domain administrator's credential. And specify the password as well. So once you log into your Windows 10 computer, let's open command prompt as a admin. Now let's type a command gp update slash force and then press enter key. As you can see, group policy has been updated successfully on this computer. Let's close command prompt and let's manually restart once our Windows 10 computer. Let's select restart. Now let's go back to our WSVS server and still as you can see it is downloading the update information from Microsoft update site. Okay so let's uh, click on next. Select the language in uh, English as you can see by default selected. So let's click on next. Select for what products you want to download updates and just for demonstration purpose I'll be selecting only Windows 10. Let's remove office. Let's remove all windows and only selecting Windows 10. You can add or remove products later if you want to add or remove any particular product. Let's click on next. Now here you can select what types of updates you want to download. We want to download critical updates, definition updates and security updates. Let's click on next. Now here it is asking us to specify the sync schedule. Synchronize means WSVS will contact the upstream server, either Microsoft Update server or another WSVS server and downloads the metadata information of new updates that are available. So you can leave this set to manual or change to automatic. I have to leave it manual so I can see what updates are available for each manual sync I do. And let's click on next. Now go ahead and select the box begin initial synchronization as this will be the first one and let's click on next. Now there are some links you can click on to read more about WSUS. Let's click on finish to finish this. 
and finally welcome to the WSUS console this is your server name SRT hyphen this is row one under computers expand all computers and under earn assigned computers you will see all your computers are here let's click on any select any and click on refresh now here we can see we have our computer name srt-cli01.mylab.local that is our windows 10 computer now let's click on srt-dc01 and here you can see a status of our synchronization process and it is completed 39 percentage so as you can see synchronization process completes successfully and since we have added a test computer let's see how we can push updates to it so in your WSUS console expand updates and select all updates now here you will see updates which are needed so as you can see right now there is no unapproved updates that are needed by our client computer so let's coming back to our windows 10 computer let's log in as a administrator once you log into our windows 10 computer let's open command prompt let's type a command wauclt slash detect now and then hit enter key and let's type a command wauclt slash report now and hit enter these commands force our windows 10 computer to contact the WSUS server. So let's come back to our WSUS server. Let's click on refresh. Okay, still there is nothing. Let's click on unassigned computers and let's click on refresh again. Here we can see last status report it at this time. Now let's come back to our Windows 10 computer and let's run a command wuauclt slash detect now. We are forcing our Windows 10 computer to contact WSVS server right now. That's coming back to our WSVS server again. Let's click on refresh. Let's click on all updates and let's click on refresh again. Let's click on SRT hyphen this is row one and here there is no computers needing updates right now. You can wait for your computer to contact WSUS server and ask for the updates. But for this demonstration purpose, I will again going back to our client computer and let's run those command and let's run a WUAU CLT slash report now command as well. So let's run those command few times. So we are forcing our client to contact WSUS server right now. Let's come back to our WSUS server again. Let's click on refresh. So after running those command few times on client computer and after restarting once, here we go. We have a computer that asking for updates. Now let's expand updates. Let's click on all updates and here let's click on refresh button now we can see a list of updates that are needed by our client computer now from here you can select the update which you want to install on your client computer and then right click on it and select approve let's click on approve for install and let's again click on approve for install and let's click on ok let's click on close and in this way you can approve the updates which are required by client computer. Since we have a just one test computer right now, we have approved it for all the computers. However, in production environment, you should first approve the updates to a test group instead of all computers to see the updates cause any sort of problems or not. Once you are certain that the update doesn't break anything, you can push it to the all critical machines. And if you click on SRT hyphen DC01, the updates have been approved. And as you can see from download status, our WSUS server start downloading the updates from Microsoft Update Server. Now, during schedule time, 
these updates will be pushed to our test computer. Okay, so as you can see, updates has been downloaded to our WSUS server and ready to install on our test computer. So let's move to our test Windows 10 computer. On Windows 10 computer, let's click on settings. Let's click on update and security. And here, as you can see, Windows 10 is uh, checking for updates from our local WSUS server. And here we go. Now, here we have uh, updates uh, available. And this is the name of our updates. So, in this way, we can install and configure WSUS in Windows Server 2012 R2 computer. And using group policy, we can configure our domain client to use local WSUS server to download and install updates from it.